quarterback who's going to start this ball game. He's sound. He makes good decisions. The route concepts are sound as well. And then here comes the X Factor and Brandon Bridge. Just when you go in and you think you got Ross Medanic bottled up, yeah. here comes Brandon Bridge. He can throw it. He can run it. He is a superior athlete. He's going to be fun to watch through this ball game. Yeah, it's another one of those spread up tempo offenses. We'll see how Tennessee handles that. Well, it's the old versus the new. For more on this matchup, let's go down and check in with Kara. Dave, it's team 117 for Tennessee versus team 5 for South Alabama. The Volunteers first fielded a football program in 1891. South Alabama, 2009. They just qualified for FBS classification last year, and this is the first season the Jaguars can earn bowl eligibility. That's certainly this program's goal. Five of the coaches on South Alabama's staff have been to Neyland Stadium before as players in the Southeastern Conference. Head coach Joey Jones played for Bear Bryant at Alabama. He told me he carries a theme that he learned under Bear into his program. He wants his Jaguar players to be warriors on the field and gentlemen off of it. Dave? Thanks, Kara. 801 wins for Tennessee, 27 wins for South Alabama. <laughs> Crazy, but it's amazing how good South Alabama has become in such a short period of time. They played uh, an SEC opponent last year as well, taking on Mississippi State, and they will continue that path down the road. They have some SEC matchups lined up in the next uh, one for each of the next three years. So Tennessee will kick it away. They won the toss, they defer. So South Alabama's TJ Glover will bring it out. TJ hit and drop shy at the 20 yard line. Give him a 17 yard return. So the South Alabama offense will be the first ones with the football in their hands. They're averaging about 31 points a game. And Ross Matheny, the transfer from Virginia, who graduated in three years, and is now the South Alabama signal caller, got the start in. Sunbelt play last year about week three of the season. Yeah, he's extremely mature. He knows exactly where to go with the football. Solid game manager. I think fans are going to be impressed with uh, this offense. Quick slant pass is caught at the 24-yard line. Ryan Lavender makes the first catch, pick up a six. Cameron Sutton, the freshman, on the tackle for the Vols. Yeah, they're going to go fast. I mean, they've got a couple of different gears already, Dave, at the line. Here's the quick tempo throw. 